Hello, I've had a bit of a chop and change. I've sort of deleted a few of my videos. You know, I've been watching the films. I thought they're not very good, really. I'm going to try and make better ones. So today we've got a rotor light, Jameson's rotor light, but it doesn't pay out coins. It pays out polos. So if you're a polo fan, this is the machine you want to be on. You don't see many of these about. You know, I've seen the ones with the coins, you know, that pays, pays two, four and six, etc. But uh, not seen one with polos other than this one, which I, I got myself. So we'll have a little play, shall we? And see if we can win some polos for you all. Right, I've switched the power on. Now there's a white light lit on the left and a blue light lit on the right. The idea is to get two matching colours the same, like white either side. It would then pay a pack of polos out and then jump off so nobody could go up and say it hadn't paid out. You insert an old penny in. We have one here. And you press to start and then you release to stop. So let's have a play. Penny in. Press to start. Release to stop. I've lit up a yellow light and a white light there. No good. No good. Come on, I want some polos. Oh, I've lit up a red on the left and a yellow on the right. That's no good either. Red and white. No, you've got to put a penny in to make it work. <laughs> oh, red and white again. And again, that's three times. Red and white. How annoying. Two greens. And you can see now it's jumped off. But the main thing is. Yay. We've got polos. How about that? Do you fancy another pack? Hey, what? Blue and green. Yellow and white. That's threatens now since I won, so I could have got up I could have bought a pack at the shop now. So if I if I get this I'm just level. Ah red and white, don't start that game again. Red and white again. Ah blue and blue. Blue and blue. Polo number two. Not bad, eh? Do you know what? I want three packs. Three packs of polos. Blue and green. Red and white. That seems to be a popular combination, doesn't it, eh? Oh, blooming egg. That's... White and red this time. The opposite way round. White and blue. Blimey, red and yellow. Ah! White and white. And polos. Number three. Now, how good were that? Oh, I've chucked them on the floor. Mind you, it's all part of the fun. Just about to tuck into my polos, and I've read the date on them, and you don't want to know. They're only ten years out of date. So I'm afraid they'll be going back in the machine. They're not for consumption. Not by me, anyway. Right, I've opened it up now. I'm going to show you the inside. I'm going to show you a couple of goes of it working to start with. That's one. That's two. So that's a view from the inside. Now the next thing is to see the polo vend from here. It's like two circles there, two wheels on circles. And uh, hopefully we'll see that vendor pack of polos now.
I've just got to get a winner first, obviously. Did you see that? If you didn't, you'll have to play it back. But that was a vending of a pack of polos. Right, I've opened it up inside and there's two selectors. The right and left. Now we're going to concentrate on the right one first. That's just simply for the lights. You know, that'll keep going around till you let go. That's the only significant with that. The only significant thing. I'll click another go on. Just watch that go around again. And the next one we're going to concentrate on will be the left hand side. Right, so if you concentrate on the left hand selector now, which we're on, that moves one position every time. So what's our selector on the left? Get ready. I'll just press a go on it. There. See it move? So that moves one position every time. Again. There. One more. There. And we'll do another. There. One more, see if we can get a winner. There. And it moved on one more after the win. Well, that's determined up here. All the wires up there look are all wired into uh, certain positions. So it, it, it is predetermined. There's no doubt about that. All them wires are winning polos. Looks impressive, but don't forget there's over 50. There's 50 on that selector. And there's certainly not 50 wires there. Very interesting. Basically a close-up of the inside. You can see the colours more clearer here. We've had to sort of put light on in here. And when the machine's actually lit up, it distorts the colours a little bit. But you can clearly see the colours there. So when you see it in the flesh, it's a lot better than... And then we've got a full tube, well, a full column, I should say, of out-of-date polos. So how good's that? And inside, there's the usual, the bell that rings look, the two selectors. And there you go. That's the inside of our Rotolite Sweetie. Right, I'm just sort of opening it up now, taking the front off. And showing you the cash tin in there. Here we are. You can see it all there. Just the cash tin. And there's the pennies it's took off us. To get those bolos. Hey? Well, I hope you like that little refilm. Just showing the machine now with the power off. Quite a nice machine, this. Like I say, I'm, I'm refilming a few videos now because I've sort of knocked my channel down a bit. I, I used to have another guy sort of filming them and it, it didn't really come out, you know, always as I wanted it because he didn't really know what I was looking for. I like to show you all this close up and... So hopefully, I'll see you on a few more refilm videos. Bye for now.